Alright, so what's up guys? Not much. Um, I guess by the title of the video you already know what we're doing today. But, um, so, let's find some hook, uh, hook pins. So let's go ahead and get started. I guess um, step one, what you need to do here is buy some hook pins, some arrow catches, new. Um, you buy these for your previous car and you realize, you know what? I'm too pussy to cut a hole in the hood. So, being the pussy you are, you put them back on the shelf over here and they sit for a couple of years. <laughs> then, buy another car, figure out, man, my hood latch is broken. I don't know why. Won't even latch, the piece is about to break. Oh, you know what? I got hood pins. Ah, oh, great! And uh, obviously, you don't care about this hood because you already cut holes in it. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and install these. So, alright. Alright, so, it. what comes in the box? As you can see here, lock, you got your locking plate, um, you actually your hood pins, you got two of the pins that run through the pins, you got the bag of nuts, two sets of keys, some directions. I actually thought these were directions, like actually to help you out, but um, in reality, this just tells you that, hey, that's how you open it, which there's nothing else that comes with them. Thanks, guys. Um, I thought there might have been like a template or something in there to like tell you how to cut these or how to drill the holes. But, obviously it doesn't, so I guess we'll just have to wing it, and we'll send it, and we'll see. So I guess let's go ahead and install these, uh, I guess these two pins right here, so then we can figure out where to cut our hole, and then we'll go from there. Alright. Okay, so we have installed our hood pin on our, I guess, hood support thing, don't know. Um, I just used the hole that was already there. Don't know if it's going to work, but we're sending it. So, just to give you guys a little layout on how things work, this is exactly how I did it. Uh, let's see, I can't do this with one hand. Alright, so I did the washer, I put the little rubber piece at the bottom with another nut, and then I just screwed it tight. Um, I guess to mark your spot, you're going to need some of this stuff right here. Crest Ultra White. Um, if it doesn't, if it's not minty fresh, it's not going to work, and it doesn't have baking soda in it, it's not going to work. Take a dab of that, put that on top, close the hood, see where it drills, and drill your hole. All right. All right. Going. So now what you want to do is cover your engine bay because you don't want to get your, you know, your twin turp skis. You don't want to throw any metal shavings in that, would you? Obviously not. So um, what you're going to do now is I did the toothpaste, made a little hole right there. Um, that's where it should line up at. But I guess what now I'm going to take this template and kind of see how I want to fit it in here. So I know how much maybe to trim out at the bottom. Um, I kind of wanted to keep this piece so I could keep the, uh, what is this, the, I guess the rubber uh, stop thing on it, but I don't know. I guess what I'll do is cut it all out, figure it out from there. Because um, the thing is, I kind of got an idea of where I wanted to sit on the back side of the hood, but I think that requires me maybe to take that out. So let's just go ahead and start cutting and see where it gets us. As long as we don't go through the hood, I really don't care if the backside looks like crap because the hood's already crap anyway. So, alright, keep going. Alright, so, uh, take your metal piece out. Um, I cut a good amount out of here. Probably too much. Who knows? Um, yeah, so, grab a piece, yeah. see where it might fit now, does it look like it might fit in there, fine, um, yeah, so what I'm going to do, put up these toothpaste on here, dab that on there, see where we line up at, so let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, look at that, zoomed in. Alright, so, as you guys can see, I got my little toothpaste mark right there. Um, what I'm going to attempt to do is kind of line this piece up in here so it should fit okay. Um, I got the crease of the hood to kind of go along with, um, but the only thing is though, I know that my piece does fit. Um, I might try to maybe angle it out a little bit like that. Um, the only thing is though, I'm worried that when I put that piece through it actually might knock into this, but we'll see. Um, it looks like it does fit in there though, I'm still, once again, they didn't even give me like a template, I wish they would have like printed out directions or something on how to do it, I mean, actually how to measure the circle part in the middle so you know where to cut, but I guess right now, um, go ahead and drill through, so take your mark here and 
drill a hole and pray that your hole's right. <laughs> All right. All right, so got our hole in the hood. Um, I guess now what I can do is kind of line this template up to kind of get an idea of where I want the, you know, how do I want it? I want it more like this. I might could flip it and maybe do that. The only thing I'm worried about is it might run too close to the edge right there. So I might have to end up doing something more like, I want to follow this line right here. The only thing is though, I don't know if that's gonna fit. So I guess what we can do is line our holes up here and this will kind of give us an idea of where the hole is going to be at. So um, I guess we can draw some lines on this and just know that from here to here and here to here it's kind of, hmm, let's say midpoint is about there. So right under the middle point of that, that should give us where the hole is going to come through at. So it probably is about there. So that might fit okay. Um, I guess we can see. We'll just uh, mark some lines and start to cut. <laughs> I know that's probably not the best idea to do, but um, I don't have a template or anything, so I guess we'll just wing it. Let's go. All right, guys. So as you can see, we have our hole. We did some tape around it, so if, you're, uh, if your Dremel skips some, you don't mess your paint out. Um, but what I did right here is I kind of just like laid this right here where I think it will be and then I took the top part and I laid it on top I don't know if you guys can see that but it does kind of fit in there kind of it does have a little bit of wiggle room so I guess I do have a little bit of play but um what I'm hoping is is I'm hoping that if I line that up right that it should you know fall down in there and it should work um honestly these are pretty I feel pretty bad about this because this is honestly just sketch man like you're really just guessing drilling into your hood and hoping this fits like i felt more confident cutting the holes for the exhaust than i did these to be honest with you so uh yeah we'll just um cut it out and send it if it's not right we'll make it work i guess if not we'll just uh we screwed up our hood but we'll see so all right All right, guys, so holes drilled. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, this is about 100% sketch. Like, there's there's no other way to get around it. So I drilled the hole. It does line up. As you can see, our little uh, our pin is where it's supposed to be. Um, it is a little angled, a little weird, but I think what I'm going to do is, um, to be honest with you, the probably the easiest way to do this is drill all this, and know that your, I guess your pinhole is kind of where it needs to be because um, remember that hole was a little bit bigger. So I can kind of shift that pin around a little bit. But the thing is, you're not going to be able to shift this around. So what I recommend doing is putting your pin directly in the middle of that hole, screwing it tight, and then using that as your line point because when the hood opens and closes, it's not going to be, you know, you're, you're, it's kind of hard to measure that. So what I would do is stick your pin in the middle of the hole, tighten it up, put all this on, and then if you need to adjust your pin back a smidge or over a smidge or left or right, you still have that little bit of play in there because once this is kind of drilled, you really don't have much, you know, wiggle room. So yeah, we went on ahead and marked this. I'm going to go ahead and drill out the, uh, drill out the holes for the screws and try to get that bottom plate on. So once we get that on, we'll keep it going. Okay, so holes are drilled. Fits in. Now we can go ahead and put our put our screws in. Try to get our back plate lined on. Take this tape off, and then uh, I guess we'll go ahead and line this bottom one up. We'll see how it works from there. So all right, guys. All right. So after 20 minutes of trying to figure out how to get this at the right angle because this right here doesn't come up at the right angle so I had to like 
shift the pin back and then get it more like in so it slots so the hood falls on it um yeah but it's on now finally good on this side um it lines up pretty good with the lines right here i'm not too mad about that um two my spacing in here is good under the bottom of the hood is good uh, but as you can see this is kind of how it works your pin right here has a spring on it and you push these down and then that that pin slides through the hood latch and then you clip it down and then it still is going to vibrate some but you have to push this open and push it down in there so now if you wanted to lock it per se you could stick your key in there and then turn the key and then nobody can stick your hood or pop your hood so if you want to open the hood stick the key in turn the key um, pull it pop the key back the hood pops up hood pin slides out and then out it goes not that bad so um i'm honestly i might just show you guys the other side i'm probably not going to go through the whole nine yards of drilling and showing you guys again because you already see this um it's the exact same side um only thing i would say though when you're doing the other side just make sure you measure your distance like here and then maybe your distance here so you can kind of i mean as long as it's still in the same area it'll look symmetrical so all right guys finished up all right later